We're in Capricorn full moon summer 2017. This is exactly a year later than when I was explaining things to you here in this same spot, same astrological moment almost. Except now the predictions have rolled in into reality. So we had said that Putin and Trump would probably get on okay. I could say that based on Trump um, birth chart on the one end and Putin birth chart on the other. And now finally they got together and it's looking good. Interesting is that the secretaries of states are now talking on behalf of their leaders and it's looking good. One other thing I had said 15 years ago when the Iraq war was going to be started, I said those who start this may find themselves down the road in some um, war crime tribunal type situations and sure enough in England it's going in that direction now. So now where are we at in the future world. On the one hand, we see breakdown of consciousness, right? You can see that. Also breakdown of logical thought. Logic isn't even taught in schools anymore. I've been told um, these curriculums have taken that out. You were usually taught this as a teenager when you studied Greek. That's gone. So that leaves a lot of people without the ability to actually think a situation through, to look at a report and question by themselves what it could be about, whether if it's even true or not, or fake. So you have the breakdown of consciousness, of logical thought, civility, and eventually almost civilization. So that's the discussion in the summer 2017. Is the Western civilization actually up to it? And can it assess the threats? <coughs> the Nordics have said there's three threats only. Earth changes we discussed, migrations, as a consequence of Earth's changes, but uh, other migrations already ongoing. And number three is what Assange and Putin has explained, um, the cyber security attack threat, where really the tools are now potentially in the hands of anyone. A 12-year-old who understands it, if he has a funny mindset, could do a lot of damage. Those are the three threats. Earth changes as everything, that is solar changes, solar flares, cosmic changes, the new circuitry of the electromagnetic currents we discussed. And this could eventually change the coastlines and the whole setup of the continents. That's as potentially serious as it can get simply based on scientists who are looking at what is actually moving right now in summer 2017. And they're saying it is long overdue actually to create a situation in different spots of the planet. So that's one story and we discussed in the previous series how this has happened in the past. And that's why the Nordics make a proposition. They say we don't have time for wars, we don't have time to have nations against nations. These games are over. All we have time now, maybe 40 to 50, 60 years, is to create the future technology of those space city networks or floating platforms and the technology by the extraterrestrials has been handed to the Americans, to the Russians, to the Chinese, India, Iran and maybe others and everything that is necessary to do this next step of mankind is available. That's the mission ahead, the proposal anyway.